the Harry Potter poster. I'm actually leaving the house right now. As you can see, I shaved my beard. Um, currently, uh, what do I want to do today? What do I want to do today? It's my day off. I got a lot to do. I have a lot to do. We have a lot to get done. It's really bright in there. I need to get my hair cut and I also need to drop off some stuff to my dad's and talk to him real quick. But other than that, I gotta find something to do. We might run today. I worked out yesterday, super sore, so maybe a little recovery run, but get clean, gotta get some stuff done. Definitely gotta get a haircut, so let's see how it looks. Stir. Gonna go in here and get a haircut at Sports Clips. Um, I like local barber shops, but Sports Clips always seems to do a great job. I like the one where I live in Pickerington. There's this person there that just always cuts my hair really well. Uh, but I'm down here delivering some stuff to my dad, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a haircut here while I wait for him. And then I'm just gonna go over there and get this day rolling again. Like I said, I do definitely think I'm gonna go for a run today. Just trying to run errands. My days off are like always crazy. Let me know if you're like this uh, down in the comments below. I feel like every day I have off, I try to get done literally as much as I possibly can within the allotted time that I have. And I, sometimes I get upset when I don't get everything done. So let me know. Hope you guys are doing well, by the way. Um, trying to get more into these vlog style videos again. But yeah, haircut it is. I'll see you back here with a better do in three, two, one. All right, here we are back at home. Got my hair cut. Do you guys like it? Do you not like it? I kind of went with like the bald fade going up. Kind of more of a classier look. Something uh, something I've been getting into lately. Not used to it, but uh, I enjoy it. It's a little, it's kind of sucks right now because it's winter and it's a little cold, but at the same time, it's not gonna be my way. It's cleaner cut and it's gonna take a lot longer to grow out, so. Let me know if you guys like it down in the comments below. Got a little bit of product and I've been using this pomade that Taylor bought me. It's a natural pomade without any like sulfates or parabens in it. You know I'm really into stuff like that. It's called Boardwalk Pomade. I'll show you guys that here in a little bit, but I really enjoy it and it smells good and the consistency is really nice. It gives you perfect hold, perfect shine, at least in my opinion. Uh, it's like around six o'clock, maybe a little after. Let me take a look here. It's like 6.16 right now. It's getting kind of dark outside. Let's take a look. I think I'm still gonna do this run even if it's at night. I'll just have to dress up. I'm kind of just dressed down and my, I look like a pirate. These are 3 4 pants for soccer, but I kind of just dressed down to relax for a little bit. Um, swept the house, did some laundry. Taylor got home from work, so we're probably gonna eat dinner here, and then after a little bit, I'll do my run, and then we'll uh, say I do. But yeah, I mean, that's about it. Like, that's kind of my days off, guys. I just run around and do stuff. Testing this thing's low like your buddy. Hope the camera isn't too shaky. Just got back from a small run. I think it was around like two miles. Wasn't really going too quick, too crazy fast. Anything for time, just jogging. Just gets the blood flowing. Just get some jog. I mean, like, just get out and do something, and I feel it, man. I'm a little sweaty. Whew. Feels a lot better. Something I want to tell you guys about, though. I ran today. New favorite shoe brand. Uh, I ran today in some shoes. I didn't think I would really run in. I left my running shoes in my car. I didn't want to go run to my shoes and then get my get my Nike free runs on and then put them on, come back to the house, put them on, and then run. So I just decided to kick on some new shoes I got. These shoes are new, but they've been out for a while. They're just like, they're just sitting at dicks. And they're getting bought up. So I got them for like 40 bucks. They're the New Balance Fresh Foam Cruise Decons, the the version one. They got the second ones out. They look really nice, but they look more warm and like as a super comfy shoe. Now these are definitely made for comfiness. These are definitely a comfort shoe, a lifestyle shoe, a casual shoe, what have you. I rhymed. But I just ran in them and they surprisingly force your foot forward so that you either strike midfoot or toe and they're super comfortable. And the fresh foam 
technology that New Balance uses is actually very responsive, and I'd say it's up there with Boost. And I've tweeted that before that I think it's actually better than Boost. This isn't my first pair. I have a regular pair of the Fresh Foam Cruises, the version ones that are just like knit, but they're so thin and they have like a suede like saddle that goes over like an overlay the, where the laces go through. And then it's just like a sock, but it's so thin, like any little bit of water gets through it, your foot's wet, it like snags on everything. These ones are the decons, a little thicker, a little warmer. There is a some sort of suede or maybe little felt covering over the foot that keeps stuff from getting inside your foot and actually makes it a lot warmer, a lot less breathable. Not, or I should say not as breathable, it's still pretty breathable, but makes your foot warm, er, and the laces just go straight through it. So let's pop this sucker off and give you a look. So here's the shoe, quick look at it. They have gray, blue, and this is like a tan color. I, I was gonna get the gray ones, but I've got the gray Fresh Foam New Balance, um, Fresh Foam Cruises. I could pull those out here in a second. And, but I saw so I wanted to get these tan ones. I think they look really nice. They got this like, well, it's a little muddy, but it's like an urban camo bottom. Actually, it's like all just one piece. It's kind of what the upper looks like. Almost looks like a Nike Roshi as far as the texture goes, but it's thicker, it's not as um, perforated or porous as that, as the Nike Roshi. And see the laces just go right through the shoe and it's got like this kind of foamy heel with some grips on the back to pull it. Got the New Balance branding on the inside. And this is the fresh foam. This stuff is really nice. I love it. I love the way it looks. I love the way it feels. It's super plush, but responsive. It's comfortable. I didn't think I would run in these. I mean, I've ran around just like when I'm in the other ones, like the regular Fresh Foam Cruises, just to do stuff. I've just, you know, made a quick sprint to something or went and ran to like go grab something. And they felt really comfortable to run in for some reason. I was like, huh, well I picked these up because I wanted a version that was a little bit warmer. I wanted one though that didn't let water in so easily or like air and get so cold. So I grabbed those and I was like, saw them on, online at Dick's, so they're like 40 bucks. I was like, dang, I gotta have them because the other ones I only bought for 50. So I was like, I know that the other ones are good and these ones are just gonna be better. I was reading some reviews, so I picked them up. Super happy with the purchase, guys. And I don't know why, this shoe's been slept on so hard. I can only find one other video about them on YouTube. It's just a, a silent unboxing video. So I don't know why they're getting slept on, but really good shoe. I uh, definitely wanna try out the, the version twos, the Fresh Home Cruise v2s and they have a sports version that's specifically made for running as well as a decon one for lifestyle and then of course like a new buck one for lifestyle new buck leather and a suede version they're definitely doing a lot of things and i really want to try the fresh from zante pursuits those shoes look so cool and also the solos because they have like a lower heel to drop heel to toe drop it's like i think it's like six millimeters but yes the solos and the pursuits those zante shoes look so awesome and I've just seen nothing but good things about him. I think Jameson Michael here on uh, YouTube, he's a runner, does a whole bunch of running shoe reviews and he's given those thumbs up. I don't know about the solos, but the Zonde Pursuits. Um, but he get, I mean, he looks at those fresh from shoes and they, uh, from New Balance and they all look really nice. And uh, I definitely want to try them out. I'm really loving this brand. I started wearing New Balance. I got the Fresh From Cruises. I really wanted to do a video on them. Filmed it, just never got to putting it out, but it was like back in October I got those. I bought a pair. Taylor tried them on, she loved them, so I bought a pair for her. And I bought myself a second pair. I really enjoy these shoes, guys. The Fresh From Cruises, Decons, any of the Fresh From stuff, New Balance, has been awesome. I love this brand. It's probably my new favorite brand. I love wearing them around. I've been rocking them here for a while, so that's that. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. This is just a quick little, Little video, little vlog just talking about what I'm doing. I had to be outside because I just got done running and Taylor's working out doing music videos and stuff and dancing. So enjoy your surroundings. Here are the regular Fresh From Cruises. These were the first ones I got back in October. Um, see this, I love those gum bottoms, they're so nice. But this is like just straight, just a straight thin knit and it's so, airy it is so like not fun to wear because like water splashes up on it your foot's soaking wet or like the wind blows and it's cold like you feel all of it and it's just it's not a good time so these are comfortable summer shoes decons 
a little thicker, a little more reinforced. I think my favorite out of the two. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, take it easy, stay natty, team natty out.